Heavyweight, Trent Hilger having himself quite a year. 17 and 3, the Richard sophomore going up against Thomas Panola, who has presented himself very well for the Purdue Boilermakers. Started at 197, lost the wrestle off to Christian Bruner, said, I want to be in the lineup, and building himself up to that heavyweight and steps in there in the in the rankings this year this uh, week. Yep. Thomas Panola having a nice year. I like those guys that just want to be in the lineup. Absolutely, you can always do something with it. That type of desire. Again, you see he's a little bit smaller than Hilger right now, but he's he moves well, moves like a 97, maybe 84 pounder. He's got good footwork. Yeah, Trent Hilger, 240, 245. He's uh, from Linden, Michigan, Lake Fenton High School. He was recruited by football at Wisconsin and chose wrestling instead. Three-time state champion in Michigan. Russell Ava, guys. He's good in all positions, Jim. Yeah, I've seen nice, yeah, yeah, nice shot with that dash. underhook to get to that single. Try to put a little more weight. Panola is on that wizard right there. He comes to the far ankle. Almost had it for a second, not in control. I think that was a really good job of calling it like he was inside the cylinder right there. Because you can see kind of his, his feet were maybe a little bit out, but his rear end was still in. Good call, Jim. Yeah. And that's what Kurt uh, Frost called it, two points. Yeah, I take a, I mean, I'm just yeah. looking at the camera angle. I'm looking at his rear end here. It looks like his feet go out, but his rear end is still in there. Still in the squatting position right there. And it is a cylinder, straight yeah. up and down, an imaginary cylinder. Yep. See and that? that's why Kurt Frost gave the two points. Go ahead, oh, I, think, I think he's got it. Yeah, they're looking at an over-the-top angle. Good look at Thomas Panola. Zionsville, Indiana. Zionsville High School. Had two brothers that played college football. Take another look at it. This is a much better angle here. We're going to be able to see where his feet go out, but his rear end is still in. Yeah, I, I, I sir. Jim, I think that's just a tremendous uh, call because uh, it brings another perspective. Yeah, another perspective on what a takedown is. Yeah, and the good Not thing just about, your feet. Yeah, it, it, what's the good thing about that is, is that Kurt Frost was in the right position yeah. to make that call. Yes, he was. And so much about good officiating is footwork. I mean, these guys are constantly circling, circling and trying to get the best angle. Well done. Good job. Escape by Panola, two to one. Minute 15 left in the first period. One thing that Panola has had success with is he's got a gas tank too, and. These heavyweights are getting a little uh, reputation for gas tank. With gas tank Gary from Gary Traub from Ohio State and just some really athletic, gifted heavyweights in the Big Ten, Jim. The Russell gas tank. <laughs> yes, I know. You, you have renamed it <laughs> the gas tank. Mason Paris. We saw put a show on at the Madison Square Gardens. It came down to him and he won it for Michigan over Rutgers and of course, Tony Cassiope. We're gonna yeah. chance to see those two battle it out next week here, Iowa at Michigan on the network. That's right. <laughs> Heavy collar tie there by Manola. You gotta pick your spots if you're gonna go over, go underneath the big man like Hilger. He's got good feet. He can drop the hammer on you. And just stay underneath him. If not, he, he gave up an early takedown, but got the escape. Presented himself. It's two to one at the end of the first period, and Hilger will go down to begin the second period. Panola, who was named the team's outstanding freshman last year, as he redshirted. And now is a redshirt freshman in the lineup. Gives up the escape. Trails three to one against the number five heavyweight in the flow national rankings. BTN's partner in national rankings. <laughs> yeah, speaking of flow, look at that hair. 
Hilger. Thor. I mean, that. he is Thor, isn't he? And that's his nickname. Flowing locks. Good athlete, good competitor. Usually keeps a high pace, Trent, Trent Hilger does. Yeah, he's an, an underrated as far as, I, I think, well, good scrambler. I mean, you, you, you can you battle with him, and he uh, looks like he caught one. Hold on, hold on. You all right? You all right recovery? You all right recovery? Yeah, it's a little headbutt. So we've talked about him. You know, Let's take a look Two at the minutes. headbutt here in this position. That got called, penalized. Right. Boom, right up there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, well, we'll see that'll get your hair out. moving. Two minutes. Two minutes. Oh, I hope oh. he's okay there. Man, he got yeah. hit pretty hard. Yeah. Take a look at this. Boom. Oh. Yeah. And. If Hilger can't go after two minutes, well, he's going to hustle back yeah. out to the center, but no, maybe not. So there's no time on this. Concussion. So it's concussion protocol. Yeah. Yeah, he's got enough time. This one. I missed that one. This one, you got a double unders. Listen, he could, it's got to be either got to be a push or a back out. That cannot that be called been push. That Then call it. Okay. Then he'll adjust. You get what I'm I saying? Got I got you. I got you. Yeah, they're going through the concussion protocol here. The deck is going to take a period of time. And I think Coach Ursula's... It's almost like he lunged at him here with the top of his head and obviously caught Hilcher in a bad situation. Right. Boom, right there. That's just, he just can't do that. Right. And both officials caught that. You see. Oh. Yeah, that's as bad as we've seen all year. We'll take a break, we'll weigh, and when we come back, we'll check on Hilger's status. This is wrestling on BTN. Because here comes Thor. He's walking out, and uh, we'll Put hang his, out and see what happens. Yeah, he's got his headgear in his hand. Looks like he might be uh, either walking out to get his hand raised or... Trainer is going to talk to Chris Bono. No, no, no. And they're not going to take the chance. That was a hard hit. And so, again, yeah. you know, I'm sure it. giving a little apology right there. Right. That's uh. And so the winner by the finish of the match was an illegal hold, and so six points for Wisconsin. And. Because... Uh...